One, two, three. Welcome to the A Pod. Well, thank you for the meow. Yes, this is Yay Math. Finally, we can say Yay Math. We're doing the distance formula today. All right, distance formula is the distance between two x y points. So let's do a couple x y points. Five, negative one. This is one x y point. Please write it down. And I remember this. You remember this? That's good. Does anyone know distance formula? Raise hand. One. Two, okay, three, all right, no problem. All right, so maybe some people are not telling the truth, but that's okay too? No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ha ha. recording. Yes, we are recording. Isn't it great? Oh, yeah. I don't see the the red. Yeah, anyway, these are two points. What is the distance between these two points? Now, we could graph it and do all kinds of different ways to graph them and find the distance between, but there's a formula to find the distance between. The formula goes like this. D equals, D stands for distance. All right, let me get it up, let me get it. A long square root sign. Okay. X2 minus X1 squared. I'll explain what these are in a minute. X2 minus X1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Let's explain what these are. What are they? Um, basically what you're doing, you're taking one uh, set of x and y's and one set of like the 5 and the 11 you, and basically combining them so you could get the x and y formula. Right, right. We're getting the difference of the x's. Yeah. The difference of the x's. So when they say x2 and x1, they basically mean this is x2, right here, 11, yeah. and this is x1. We can call it here. This is x1, y1. In other words, this point, 5, negative 1, is our first x, y point. If it's our first x, y point, it's x1, y1. If this is our second x, y point, what do you think this is called? X2, y2. X2, y2. Say it loud. I want to X2 and y2. Lovely. So the little numbers on the bottom are just to differentiate. Differentiate. Right on. They're called subscript. Got it. X2, y2. So we're differentiating between our first x, y and our second x, y. And now we plug in and we're done. Yes? Is it always negative in between? Yes. Always minus in between. And unless, this, unless it's a negative number. Always plus. plus. Yeah, it'll turn into plus. You'll see. Yeah. Okay, here we go. D equals long square root. Five. Who can no. plug it in? D equals 11. Yeah. 11. And then... Oh, the two always go first? Boop. Minus 5. Any objections? Yeah, minus 5. 11 is x2. Yeah. Minus 5 is x1. Very cool. Minus, not positive. Very oh, cool. oh, okay. Good, good Why question. Why is it x2? Never mind, never mind. I'm not going to ask that question. Ask, it's fine. X, why, why would you put x2 instead of y, x1? Is it just because... It doesn't it's matter, and that's a fine question. It doesn't matter, by the way, which... One you choose is x2, y2, or y, x2. As long as you have a minus and it's squared. Right on. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. This could have been x2, y2. This could have been x1, y1. As long as you don't put the x. <laughs> is it as long as you don't <laughs> no, I'm talking straight to her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Plus. What if you put the y and the x? No. That's when you can't do y and x together. Right. Can't do y and x together. You have to do the x's together. Now y's together. What is y2 minus y1, please? Oh, okay. Um, Y2. 7. 7. Good. Minus. Minus. Minus negative 1. So it would be plus 1. So it would be plus 1. It ends up being plus because the negative minus the negative. Well, I'm standing in the way. 7 is x2, or excuse me, y2. y2 minus. Y1 is negative 1, so it's minus negative 1. 
This will be plus, yes. Can you just put a plus? It will be, yes. I just want you to see double negative first. Yes. Uh, do you always have to put, do you always have to make it uh, yeah. D, equal, D equals? Yes, distance equals. Yeah. Okay. This is great. There's, no, there's not going to be any other variable involved? No, distance formula is one formula for D, for right. the distance. All right, so let's just yeah, square and some set them. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is 11 minus 5 squared? You! Okay, 11 minus 5. I'll name five. her you. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minus 5 yeah. squared, so um, you make two sets of parentheses. No, not no. necessarily. That's four. Like, what's 11 minus 5? Six. Oh, 6. 6 squared? Squared is... is 36. 36. Thank you, you. Thank Everyone you, here. Yeah. Yeah. We have a bunch of U's. <laughs> a crib full of U's. <laughs> well, a nursery. A crib full of U's like babies on top of babies. <laughs> like, oh! Hi, you. <laughs> well, there's some random person yeah. saw this video that think like, you're crazy. I know. Don't tell people. I is. <laughs> like a random mountain of babies. Like one falls off. The yeah, mountain of babies is funny. you're special. And then the soldier boy guy, and then the soldier boy guy goes, "You." <laughs> I hate that song. Please don't get me started. <laughs> I hate that song too, but it's just fun. Plus, someone else to do this. Seven plus one. Yes. And yes. Okay. Yeah. Eight squared is sixty-four. Eight squared. This is eight squared is sixty-four. Yes. Let's finish it out. Thirty-six plus sixty-four. One hundred. One hundred. Good. Math. D equals is 10. The square root of 100 is in fact 10. What? Is not what? Like what? what? So, in other words, the distance between these two points is 10. Part of you. So you don't necessarily need to graph. There's a formula for it. You can do it with graphing too. All right. You have, are we going to have to know how to do with graphing in chapter 9? Uh, no. No? No. 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 I'm just going to, all I'm asking is this. So I speed up the uh, erasing, so I'm going to go uh. super fast. Check this out. <laughs> Special effects. Next point.